Um, actually, we finished our clownfish. We're going to work now on giving these little air bubbles under the water and maybe some of these little um, fish in the back. So if you're just now seeing this video and you haven't seen um, the first three parts of the video, you may want to go back and start on that one because those parts are the background and then the... Um, clownfish. So I did the background, then we did some of the underwater um, plant life. Um, another video was just the fish. And now we're going to go in here and just put some air bubbles in and a few of um, fish way back there in the background. So I'm today I'm using um, craft paint. You can use anything you have. Um, in these kind of colors, right? I'm using a dark blue, I'm using a pale blue, and I'm actually using titanium white, and this is Artist Loft, um, Artist Acryl Acrylic Paint. Um, so I use a variety from craft paints to professional paints. I use um, anything I have um, on hand to create my paintings, and that's what I'm hoping that you do too, so that it doesn't stop you. Um, from painting. So I have a um, very small round brush that I'm going to um, use today to create these little circles um, for the air bubbles. So I'm taking the light blue that I, um, I'm using, the light blue, and I'm just going to create the circle. Here's a, here's a tip. Um, I have chalk and you can actually come in and chalk in where you want your bubbles to go how big you want some bigger ones and you want some smaller bubbles right and bubbles do not have to be perfectly round either you can um, make them you know oblongs and funny shaped because that's kind of how water travels through um, air travels through water sorry so you can come in and kind of put them where you would like them to um, to be. Just, I'm using chalk because um, with a very dry brush, if you don't like where you've put placed it, you can just come in and use the brush to get rid of the chalk. And as long as your background is dry, you won't even notice that you had a chalk mark there. And so I'm just drawing a couple of circles where I think I might want um, some of my bubbles to go. A teeny one right there. Okay, so I'm going to take my light blue. I'm going to roll my brush so that I have a nice sharp edge roll your brush to have a nice little sharp edge and again i'm not trying to be perfect with this because they're bubbles right and bubbles aren't perfectly round so i'm just coming in here and creating a round ish round ish i'm gonna do that for all my little ones that i drew round ish circles When I put, when I dip my brush into my paint, I kind of roll my brush in the paint so that I can um, get a nice sharp tip. And this, um, I'm right handed and I am filming on my left side, which makes it a little bit difficult for me. I should be filming on my, on that side. So that I can use my hand properly. Um, but that's okay, right? This is a journey. And we're learning on this journey. You'll hear me say that over and over um, on these videos. But my hope is that by seeing me do this and um, things aren't, you know, perfect, 
And you don't wait. Don't wait until, oh, I have to have everything she says or any um, artist that you're following, I, I, any instructor that you're following, you know, oh, I have to have every single thing she says and I have to do it exactly how she says it. D don't do that to yourself. Um, there's something about art and it's the joy of art that you want to um, have, not the stress or, you know, am I doing it perfectly? So just use what you have and just go for it. Okay, so th that's the beginnings of my bubbles. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the darker blue that I have, which I'm currently using a dark blue in CraftSmart. Um, any dark blue, if you've got a, a, whatever dark blue you use to do your background would be a perfect one. So what I'm gonna take with this dark blue is I'm gonna come inside on the inside of my little circles that I created. I'm just going to come inside it. And you see, I use my pinky sometimes to stabilize my hand. I just push my pinky against my board and that just helps me to stabilize my hand. And then I'm just going to come in here and draw, um, just come in here and right around the bottom. That's it. Just right around the bottoms of the little circles. That's it. Now, I'm kind of going through this. It's still a little bit wet, but you are welcome to pause the video and wait for yours to dry before you um, do this, this step. Wait for the um, light ones to dry. Your um, light blue circles. And when you're using your pinky for stabilization, be careful that you're not putting it on top of one of your wet areas one of your um, wet air bubbles. You don't want that. This is beginner's acrylic. So this is just a simple way to make your bubbles. So that's it. Now I have the bottoms of my bubbles and I'm going to wash out my brush and now I'm gonna use titanium white. And with the titanium white, I'm going to just come in and do the top. Same way I did the bottom. With dark blue, I'm going to do the top with light blue. I mean with white. Titanium white. Sorry, sorry. Titanium white. So again, when I dip my brush on the side of my um, paint, I roll it so I have a nice um, sharp tip. And then I'm just going to come in here right on the top. And I'm just making this a little highlight from where the light would be hitting the bubble. No two of my bubbles are the same right um i didn't intentionally make them the same or intentionally make them not the same i just did circles and then that's how they came out and i'm okay with that there we go so we have bubbles that simple that was pretty easy and now we created some air bubbles in our background and so now what we're going to create is um, some fish way back there deep in the back. So I'm gonna use the darkest blue that I have, still with the same exact brush, rolling it so I have a nice um, sharp point. And just a little fish shape, right? It's like a football with a tail, just a little fish shape. You don't want them too big, you don't want them too small, you just want some little, um, little fish shapes. So I think I'm going to do one over here, little football with a tail. Then I'm just going to fill it in. Tiny football with a tail, that was it. 
do it another one right around here.